It's been American Conference men's basketball from Worthen Arena in Muncie, Indiana. The Ball State Cardinals hosting the Chippewas of Central Michigan. Good afternoon and welcome along with Jerry Pearson. I'm Vince Welch, two of the hottest teams in the Mid-American Conference, Ball State and Central Michigan. Ball State has won three in a row. Central has won six straight, both coming off big road wins as well. And both these teams have already won more games this year than they did all of last season. Jerry, you coached in this league for a long time. What's been the difference for these teams here in the early going? Well, from Central's vantage point, Vince, they have a veteran team. They have all their starters back. And so he's been able to, to go from last year. They were a very impressive team last year. Be able to put some size back into the lineup, which they didn't have, recruit well. And so that's why I think they, they were playing very balanced and high scoring type team. And then as far as uh, uh, Ball State is concerned, second year for James to put his system in. Couple good freshmen there. Got a little size and now working real hard. So, it's going to be an interesting game. You talk about Central Michigan and the players returning. They return all five starters from a season ago, led by Chris Fowler. He's just outstanding. He is one of the best guards in the league, if not the best. He's a preseason All-Mac player. Really gets it done at both ends of the court. The thing that you'll watch about Chris is that he's a terrific passer. He not only scores, but he gets everybody else involved in the Central Michigan offense. You see his numbers there, Vince. They're top notch. And for the Ball State Cardinals, outstanding freshman Sean Sellers hit the game winner the other night at Eastern Michigan. Well, he did, and he's done that all year for the Cardinals. He's their leading scorer. And you give him an open shot, he's going to make at least half of them most of the time. Getting a lot stronger on defense and his rebounding. But, boy, you get him open for a shot, and he's as good as it gets in the Mid-American Conference. His numbers are outstanding, the leading scorer for Ball State. And uh, he's just getting better and better, Vince, each and every outing. Central Michigan has not won here in Muncie since 2007. Right. It's been a long time. Talk about the keys and how they're going to get it done if they do it today. Well, I think the key thing for uh, Central Michigan is they have to keep their balance, as they always have done so far in the season in their first 12 games. Secondly, on the road, they have to be aggressive. They've done that at home. They have to do that here in Worthen Arena today. And for the Cardinals, a couple things. They have to have that emotion from the home crowd today after they had that big win against Eastern. And secondly, they have to play together. That's what won the game the other night. That has to be the same kind of outcome today. Should be a good one here this afternoon. And uh, the starting lineups for both these clubs, we talked about the fact Central Michigan has started, uh, has all five returning starters from a year ago, and they've started this same group all season long, all 12 games. Fowler, Rayson, Simmons, Simons, and Meyer. Meyer, interesting, 6'11", 220 pounds, just a freshman. You talked about Fowler in the open, just uh, an outstanding group, and that cohesiveness has really been a key for Central Michigan, and we'll talk about that, I'm sure, as the uh, afternoon progresses. For the Ball State Cardinals, also a familiar starting five as they're about to be introduced here at Worthen Arena with uh, Xavier Turner, the Mid-American Conference Freshman of the Year a season ago. Francis Piapwe, the other guard. Sean Sellers, I think uh, odds on favor to maybe be Freshman of the Year in the Mid-American Conference this year, leads Ball State in scoring. Franco House has been a terrific story since coming on campus, and Matt Kamenecki, the lone senior on this Ball State roster. So this is a group that they've come a long way, but they've still got a long way to go, Jerry. Well, they do, and you know, when you talk about uh, Matt Kamenecki, uh, Vince, here's a guy that's, that's being able to play minutes on the floor. He hasn't been able to play that much since he's been here, actually, so he's getting consistency. They're holding him out of practice. His numbers are way up, not in terms of scoring, but in terms of good defensive play and rebounding, which they obviously needed. Ball State is coming off a win at Eastern Michigan on Wednesday as you get a look at Geno Davis, the uh, Keno Davis, I should say, the uh, head coach of the Chippewas. He's in his third season, spent a year at Drake and then moved on to Providence where he was the head coach there for three seasons. And the head coach of the Ball State Cardinals is James Whitford in his second year at the helm of the Ball State program. Uh, Whitford said the win Wednesday at Eastern Michigan was the best win the program has had since he has been here as head coach. He said it was one step on the ladder. There are a lot of steps left to go. Well, that was that first road win too, Vince. We all know how important all the wins are, but that first road win is very important from a coaching standpoint, from the staff, from the future of recruiting and all that. But that gave a lot of uh, credibility to this team 
and hopefully they can bring that today in this game. I think you know, maybe most importantly, it was a win against a quality right. opponent. Both these teams, you look at Ball State's early season schedule, Central Michigan's early season schedule, yeah, they've got some wins, but they're not the most impressive opponents. But that was a big win against a very good opponent at Eastern Michigan on Wednesday, just as Central Michigan scored a quality win at Toledo on Tuesday. Toledo, a lot of people think, going to win this league. Well, exactly, Vince. Both of those wins were what you call head turners in the league. People are, people are going to look at those scores and say, whoa, wait a second, What's, what if it's a deal with this Ball State team? They expected Central to do that, but not the Cardinals for sure. Ball State 6-6, six 1-0 and six, one and oh in the Mid-American Conference. Central Michigan 11-1 and, and, oh, and, and also 1-0 oh in the MAC. It's the 93rd meeting between these two teams, and Ball State has dominated this series here in Muncie. Here's the men wearing the whistles and calling the action today. Good crew. Central with the basketball to start it off. Well, they have a lot of firepower just in every position here. They can shoot the ball. They're powerful down inside. And they like to drive it. Ball State in its normal man-to-man -man defense. Occasionally, rarely, will you see the Cardinals in a zone, almost entirely in a man-to-man. -man. Nice inside move by Chris Fowler. Chris Fowler. You know, he can make his body well known in there and does a great job of hanging in the air, has great presence, knows what he's doing, a very, very smart player, as you'll see throughout the day. Central also in the man-to-man. -man. There's Kamenicki, drew a little contact, couldn't get it around the rim and out. Was way down, and now Sellers looks at three. Well, that's what you expect from Sean Sellers. He has that much time. Good pitch out there by Franco House. He saw open Sean, and he nailed it. Good start for Sellers. He had that big three-pointer to lift Ball State to that win over Eastern Michigan on Wednesday. Has not shot the ball particularly well the last few games from three-point range, so it's good to get that first one down. Yeah, it sure is. The foul before the shot. Foul on Ball State. Kiapwe whistled for the personal. His first and the team's first. Good, good athleticism on this Central Michigan team, too. They love to drive it. Nice inside play, and that's Luke Meyer. Luke Meyer. Real long arms, good mobility, play with some excitement. Good looking freshman. For Madison, Michigan averages just over seven and a half a game. One thing about this Central Michigan team is we watch them play defense, but on the offensive end, they really spread it around. On any given night, a different player could come up big for them. Kiapwe shoots the three, misses it. Cardinals need a little bit of that balance as yeah, well. They need do. some other players to step up. Yep, that's exactly right. Central Michigan with the early one-point advantage. Racing for the long three-pointer. No, Racing played extremely well last year. He's really quick. Sophomore now this year playing with more confidence. You saw his shooting ability. Ball State will keep possession. Frank Actually, a foul Frank called on Fowler. Central Michigan. That's going to be Fowler, his first. Central Michigan does a nice job defensively on the out-of-bounds plays, so keep an eye on that throughout the course of the afternoon. So one of the things that uh, the Ball State coaching staff preached to its players this week, Handle the pressure on the out-of-bounds, and Ball State did so admirably there. Yeah, great pass by uh, Xavier Turner there. Franco rose up and shot that little 12-footer and knocked it down. Franco House, first basket for the sophomore from Elkhart. Meyer, three-pointer, in and out, no good. Well, he likes to step out and shoot that. He's like a forward, loves to shoot it out there. Kiapwe takes it in, draws a little contact, can't get it, it rolls around the rim, but Kamenicki is there. Yeah, that's what he's in there for. Mr. Mr. Blue Collar Worker, Matt Kamenicki, did a great job of going to the offensive glass and put it right back in Central's face. Well done by, by Kamenicki. Kamenicki averages seven and a half rebounds a game, and there's Meyer 
throwing it down. Well, and a great pass by Chris Fowler. You can see why he averages six assists a game. Great look by Chris Fowler. Played just over three and a half minutes. Mid-American Conference West action between Ball State and Central Michigan, and Fowler just picked up his second. Not a very smart move for the co-captain there of Central Michigan. Basically out on the floor, tried to go for a steal and got the arm of Chris Sanceller. Deron Scott coming into the ball game for Central as Fowler goes to the bench. Also Blake Hibbets wears 32 as end of the game. Austin Stewart has come for the Chippewas as well. So these guys all play, they all contribute, so they don't lose much whenever they sub. The top seven players in minutes played all back for Central Michigan from a year ago. And the main thing, Vince, they're going to be back again next year. <laughs> yeah, one senior on the Central squad, just as there is one for Ball State. And that senior has the ball now. Kamenicki tries to kick it out to Davis. It was touched, yep. so no over and back. Shot clock at five. Pick and roll. Kamenicki to house. Oh, yes. Wonderful inside pass. It all started because Jeremiah Davis created some uh, some room. Two great passes inside. Grayson needs some help. Has it in the paint. Good defense by Ball State and a three-second violation on the Chippewas. Timeout on the floor. It's been a good one here in the early going. First time out at 15-21, and Ball State and Central Michigan are knotted up on the Ball State Sports Network. Fans, we welcome you once again to Muncie Power Products Day here at Berlin Arena. On the court representing Muncie Power Products are cheer. Both teams shooting it well here in the early going. Central Michigan 4 of 5 from the floor. Ball State 4 of 7. And Cardinals have moved the ball well, Jerry. They sure have. One of the reasons you can win games on the road and you can be a factor at home is this kind of passing right there. Great heads up play by Davis and Kamenicki to lead to an easy Franco House layup. That's what creates great offense for the Cardinals. Ball State with the basketball and a little bit of pressure from yeah. the Chippewas here out of the timeout. A little soft 2-2-1 two -two press didn't, didn't cause too much problem. Rocco Belcaster with the basketball now, his first action today. Bo Calhoun in there as well for the Cardinals for the first time. Deflected and turned or turnover for the Cardinals as the Chippewas move it to the offensive end. Fowler right back in there, Vince, kind of surprising. With, with the with basketball, he's got two fouls. Stewart on the dribble. Draws the contact, count the basket. Austin Stewart, I'm not sure how he got that shot away. Stewart, the junior from Normal, Illinois. Averages about six a game and a good offensive rebounder, but he took it right in there looking for the points. Cardinals to the offensive end. Yeah, great pass there by, again, by Xavier Turner. Way to run the floor there by Jeremiah Davis. Long three off the mark, no good. Bo Calhoun rebounds it. In transition, Belcaster looked at it but thought otherwise. So Jeremiah Davis playing just his third game. Sat out. Over two months because of a foot injury as Turner launches a long range three pointer. Yeah, that was an NBA well beyond the NBA BA three right there and hit nothing but net. Turner is eight of 38 from the floor the last couple of games, so it's good that he knocks one down early on as the Chippewas respond as well. Calhoun right back. Great running of the floor. But Kaczynski is one of those guys that can spot up and shoot it, and he did the last trip down. Found himself in the corner. Great passing by Ball State again, Vince. Another three-pointer off the mark. House goes up for the rebound. Calhoun corrals it. 
Davis, he'll shoot the long two, missed it. And the rebound pulled down by Central Michigan's Austin Stewart. Boy, up and down the floor. Central Michigan averages 86 a game, so you know they like to push the pace. Yes, they do. Pace is being pushed by both teams right now. I like the rhythm, really, of, of Ball State right now, Vince. It's a little better than it was earlier in the year. Doing a good job of subbing, running the floor. Turner again. Back to back big threes from Xavier Turner. Turner eight of 38 the last five games as Fowler drives into the basket. Yeah, he put it on Jeremiah Davis that time. Just took it all the way. Nobody rotated over. About Turner's shooting woes, but boy, nothing gets you going like a couple of threes and a driving layup, huh? You better put a stop to him or he can string him out, that's for sure. That's what Xavier likes. Cardinals by five. Whistle and a foul. As Stewart was driving. Well, they love, uh, Central loves to, loves to play one on one with you, and, and they'll take it hard to the basket. Jeremiah Davis picked up the foul, third on the team. Sellers, Kiapwe, and Kamenicki come back in for Ball State. Kino Davis didn't like that five that he had on the floor, so he makes gets the starters back in there. Well, there's Simmons off the inbounds. Well done, but he couldn't convert it, and Kamenicki rebounds. Well, good pressure inside by the Ball State defense. Simmons, Fowler, Kaczynski along with Simons and Luke Meyer on the floor for Central Michigan. Ball State has Kiapwe and Davis, Kamenicki, Sellers, and Bo Calhoun. Central doesn't like to play his own too much, but they're zoning right now. Sellers, shot fake, missed it, short. Central quickly to the offensive set. Fowler to the basket. And here comes Ball State. Calhoun, eight-footer. Uh, again, great pass by Matt Kamenicki. Wonderful ball movement by the Ball State Cardinals, Vince, right now. Great, great sharing of the basketball is leading to excellent shots. Meyer, good defense from Calhoun holding his ground against the freshman. Strong drive to the basket, Simmons, and he's going to shoot two. So Rashawn Simmons will shoot a pair when we come back from this timeout as Ball State is off to an early seven-point lead over Central Michigan. A couple of teams trying to keep winning streaks alive, Ball State and Central Michigan. Cards off to an early seven-point lead. Here's one of the reasons why. Yeah, you, just great ball movement, but we, when Xavier Turner gets in this kind of rhythm, Vince, you see they're almost identical spots on the floor, that, and Central's not respecting that shot. He can get hot, he can drive it to the basket, has good body control. I'd say he's a little bit on a roll right now. Turner shot those two three-pointers from beyond NBA range, and at what point do you guard the guy? I mean, you know, he's that far out. Typically, you don't see players rising up to shoot a three-pointer from that far out. If Central has to push that defense out to guard Turner, what does that do for the rest of the guys underneath? Well, that makes it, that puts you in a bind. I mean, if he's going to make them out there, you have to go out and put a little bit more pressure on him. Maybe get somebody a little taller, Vince, where he can stay back a little bit and have some size to put on him. But uh, they're certainly not respecting the distance that he can shoot from. At the free throw line for Central Michigan, number four, Rayshon, Rayshon Simmons. Rayshon Simmons will shoot a couple. Simmons does a little bit of everything for Central Michigan. Coach Keno Davis had 16 points, six rebounds, and five assists in that win at Toledo on Tuesday. Really played well down the stretch. Good looking athlete. There's that pressure that we'll see throughout much of the game from Central Michigan. Just uh, something to let you know it's there. Yep, that was it. Just to, just to put a little bit, take a little bit of time off. 
make you handle the ball and be aware of where things are. Turner off the pick and roll had it knocked out of his hand and it's going to be a foul as the reach in will be called on Rayshon Simmons. That's the third team foul on Central Michigan. The little guy get into traffic right there, but he did get hacked. So it's a good call. Fowler guarding Turner. Fowler's got two fouls already, so Central Michigan's top player's got to be careful out there. And now Franco House takes it in. Good shot fake. Excellent. Good little spin move. Ball State's given uh, Central a little bit of taste of their own medicine as far as taking the ball inside and having some easy shots. Halfway through the first half. Both these teams with impressive road wins this week. Central Michigan won at Toledo. Great pass from Simmons to Meyer. Now you have to guard your man. You can't overhelp. Three from Kiapwe. No good, but House is there. Second chance for the Cardinals. Sellers. That's where he's getting a lot better, Vince. A lot uh, stronger, taking it to the basket. Good hang time there. And educated hands. Well done. Second basket for Sellers, he has five, and there's Simons for the long three. Missed it, chased down the rebound. Scramble for it, and Turner's got it. Braylon Grayson trying to guard Turner. Called for the foul. You have two quick little guys out there. Now, now Central has to kind of has to sub and uh, bring in somebody that uh, not near as quick as uh, Xavier Turner. Kiapwe is out and Jeremiah Davis in for Ball State. And there's Milos Shabarka, Shabarka for uh, Central Michigan, seven-footer from Serbia, redshirt yeah. freshman. Good-looking good freshman in terms of size. Full shot clock for Ball State as House works it. There's House down on the block against Simmons, and now Turner again drives it and uses the bank, can't get it. Boy, he was oh, wide well, open. Yes, he was. He shot a little bit too hard. I think you might have been surprised how open he was. I think you're right. Interesting matchup here with Turner and Fowler. You'd expect to see Fowler go in and probably try to post a little. Shabarkaba, the seven-footer, has the ball now against Calhoun. Boy, nice footwork. Missed the shot, though, and Bo Calhoun rebounds it. Calhoun. Averages about four rebounds a game, but he can get them in bunches. Davis open for three. Oh, another great, great pass by Xavier Turner. Boy, he's playing a complete game today. Best game he's played so far this season, and there's a foul called against Ball State. The Cardinals with their largest lead of the ball game. Xavier Turner has eight, and the Cardinals lead by 10. The Ball State Cardinals with a 10-point lead over Central Michigan. Central Michigan coming into this game 11-1, and one, but Ball State's done a great job offensively so far today. Well, they have, and this kind of reason why is Xavier Turner, rather than force the play, kicks it out to an open shooter, and, and Jeremiah Davis happened to be the uh, recipient of that one. He's done that already, Vince, many, many times. Not only is he shooting well, but he's getting his teammates involved. That's what makes Xavier Turner a complete player and uh, more liked by all of us as he plays that way. Well, Turner averages four assists a game, but he also averages four turnovers yeah. per game. And he has played a much cleaner 12 and a half minutes than he has done all season long at this point. 
Ball State with Sean Sellers, Francis Kiapwe, Rocco Belcaster, Xavier Turner, and Bo Calhoun. And just as we talk about Turner playing a tidy first half, he drives in and turns it over. And that's what maybe the the problem or uh, the one detraction from his game has yep. been this season, driving yep. it in and then having nowhere to go. Yeah, exactly. He left his feet, and uh, he had a wide open sound sellers out here right towards us that he missed. So you got to be careful. Hibbets the three-pointer. Missed it. Chased down. Excellent hustle by Austin Keel, the senior from Winter Springs, Florida. Great effort. Well, Central has so many guys that can shoot three. None of them hesitate on it. Fowler drives and kicks. Simons needs some help. Turner steals it. Take Xavier it in, Turner. Fowler. Yeah, Fowler's not going to foul him. Pick up that third. So you knew that Xavier's going to get a wide open layup, and he did. Again, great heads up defense by the Ball State Cardinals. The best they've played so far this year, Vince, far and away. Kaczynski, second three pointer of the day. Josh Kaczynski for three. Central Michigan was 7 of 25 from three point range in that game against Toledo, but they played so well in the other areas of the game, it really overcame their 28% shooting. They're not going to be able to shoot 28% and beat Ball State today, at least the way the Cardinals have played so far in the first half. That is right. Belcaster couldn't yeah. connect with Calhoun, so yeah. it's a turnover against the Cardinals. He thought uh, Calhoun was going to cross, cut across the lane, and Bo stopped. Cardinal substitution number 11, Caleb Mallory checks in. There's Caleb Mallory Turn coming into the game. 5'8 sophomore, walk on from Muncie Central. Well, he's trying to get a few minutes with him, Vince, because you have uh, da uh, Davis sitting over there with two fouls. And you got to give uh, Turner a little bro. Depth at the point guard position has been one of the issues for Ball State this season. So a couple of good minutes from Mallory would be huge as Kaczynski nails another three pointer. Yeah, Sellers, Sellers uh, was way late getting out to him. Five and a half minutes to play first half. Cardinals very patient offensively. Shot clock at five. Sellers long three. And the rebound pulled down by Fowler. Fowler tops in the Mac and assists at six per game and he draws the foul on Calhoun. You know, you overhelp on Fowler on the drive like he just did. And he kicks it out. He's looking for the three point shooters out there. Cardinal substitutions at Kevin Well, James Whitford said if Fowler goes for 20, we can live with that, but we can't have him get nine or 10 assists because that indicates how he's hitting the open man and the open yeah. man's then knocking down the jump shot. So that's a real key yeah. for Ball State today and keeping Fowler under wraps from his passing perspective as he knocks down a jumper. Chris Fowler. Well, yeah, he calls, creates a switch on one of the forwards and then he's, you know, he's, he kind of owns those guys because they, they can't snug up to him. That's what happened there. Fowler with a half dozen. Jeremiah Davis running the point now as Kiapwe and Franco House play a little two-man game. Franco spins into the lane, has it blocked. Good defense from Hibbets. And then it's going to go the other way. Foul on House. One on one, two. Cardinal foul on 15, Franco House. First foul on Franco House. Hibbets did a nice job there keeping the arm straight up in the air as House turned and went to the basket. Yes, he did. House missed it and then uh, went over the back to get the rebound. First foul on Franco. He's had some foul trouble issues throughout the course of the season. The other night at Eastern, yeah. he was saddled with uh, four fouls. Yeah, just about the whole second half and then the overtimes and did a good job. Hey, I want to remind you to tune into the Ball State Sports Network this Wednesday. That's the 14th on your calendar. Cardinals will be in Kalamazoo to take on Western Michigan. Tip off at 7 Eastern.
Ball State and Western Michigan Wednesday night, January 14th, 7 o'clock. We'll look forward to having that call from you bet. Right Kalamazoo. Around the corner. Yeah, Wednesday night coming up quick. Ball State's lead has been as large as 12 at 32 to 20. But since then, the Chippewas have run off eight straight. And John Simons is at the free throw line with a one and one. Simons had nine points, six rebounds at Toledo the other night. Got a good looking shot. Central's kind of sacrificed the size and get some experience in their guys who played last year, but are all good shooters. Belcaster, long three-pointer, got it. Well, Rocco Belcaster, he can shoot it, hasn't shot it as well as uh, the coaching staff would like this season, and James Whitford said he's got to shoot it better. Yes, he does, and, and uh, he had time to set like that. He's as, he's as good as it gets. Lean from Keel, got it. Austin Keel. Keel's one of those guys that started last year who's gotten beaten out, but he's an experienced guy. He took, he took Xavier and used his size right over the top of him. Cardinals turn it over again. Oh, last touch. That went right through the hands of Simons. He had an easy catch at uh, just the old Bill Buckner right through the wickets. Timeout on the floor. Ball State and Central Michigan. Xavier Turner, 10 points and three assists. The Cardinals lead by four. The Ball State Cardinals have led by as many as 12. Four is the current advantage, and one of the reasons why is the fact Ball State shot five of nine from three-point range so far. Well, another good pitch out there, double team on uh, Turner, and uh, Belcaster can spot up and shoot it. Did a nice job, another good assist from Xavier Turner. Rocco Belcaster had made just two of his last 15 shots, so that was a big one for him. And a nice inbounds play, Franco House gets it, so Belcaster with the assist this time to House. Yep. Excellent job by the Cardinals in running the OB. Whistle and a foul on the dribble. Central Michigan will shoot free throws the rest of the way in the bonus. Good look at James Whitford. And into the ball game is Bo Calhoun. The junior from South Bend as Franco House goes to the bench. Well, it's really hard whenever you switch and uh, you have to guard a guy like uh, Fowler. He's awfully good at getting to the basket. Fowler misses the free throw, the front end of the right. one and one. Very unusual. See what the Cardinals can do here in the final three minutes. Which team closes the half better? Whistle and a foul down away from the basketball. It's going to go against Josh Kaczynski. Well, they did a good job of attacking right at the foul line, right in the middle of their defense, and then it gives a lot of options in terms of passing it back inside or, or back outside. There's that pressure on the inbounds that Central works so hard at. Cardinals have handled it fairly well so far today and even scored a couple of times off inbound plays. So well done. Davis shoots the three. Got it. Well, Davis is getting more and more confident each and every time that he plays, especially in his shooting. Second three-pointer for Jeremiah Davis. He's got eight, and the Cardinals' lead is nine. Two and a half to play, first half. Kaczynski finally misses a three-pointer, and Belcaster corrals it. Well, Belcaster had inside position, but didn't block out too well. well. Look at Davis, very confident with the handle. You can see his confidence just growing as he plays more and more, just his third game back from the injury. Okay, they get into trouble and got it out, just kicked it back out and start over. Turner 
A little rainbow can't get it, but Kamenicki is there and draws the foul. Good job by Matt Kamenicki getting those loose balls, getting those, you know, those blue collar balls. You see that short little uh, teardrop shot that Xavier Turner was short on, and Matt Kamenicki just happened to be right there to get that loose ball. Created a foul. Kamenicki was 0 of 8 from the floor against Eastern Michigan, but still had a positive impact on the game. There aren't a lot of guys that go 0 for 8 from the floor and still have a positive impact, but he had 14 rebounds in that game and also came up big on the defensive end for Ball State. There's a good look at the fifth-year senior. Really, he's the guy defensively that's kind of the quarterback on the team for Ball State and scraps up some offense along the way, too. Well, he does, and plus he's a really good, really a good leader. Usually makes one of the two free throws. That is his weakest area, and that's the free throw. Through the hands of Stewart, Cardinals will get it back. Sean Sellers comes in, as does Franco House. So Kamenicki and Calhoun. Now check that, Sellers, the lone sub for Ball State. Sellers, House, Turner, Kiapwe, and Calhoun for the Cardinals. Again, just token pressure for the Chippewas on their press. Ball State takes their time here now and get it to the shooters. House dribbles, has it knocked away by Simons, and Sellers has it. Shot clock at five, but he's dribbled it on the sideline. It's going to be a Ball State turnover. Hey, Jerry, with Fowler guarding Turner, Fowler has two fouls. Would you like to see Turner maybe be a little more aggressive with the ball offensively? Well, I would, but you see Fowler's pretty smart with it, Vince. He's playing back. He's using his hands up, but he's playing back so he doesn't get beaten. He doesn't get his hands into, into, into Xavier if he drives on him. So he's he's a pretty smart player knowing with three fouls. Three off the mark. Air ball, in fact, and there's a whistle and a foul. And that's going to go against Franco House. One of the... Fans here at Worthen don't like that one. And James Whitford just took his jacket off and tossed it, so I'm guessing he doesn't care for it either. Ooh. Oh, that's really bad. It's the second foul on House. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, James is pointing up like, look at the monitor. Here's John Simons. Hits the first, he'll get another. Yeah, you don't want a guy like Simons at the foul line ever. Guy is unbelievable. All three of Simons' points have come from the free throw line. One minute to play, first half. In the middle of that zone, Ball State's had success at. Turner again! <laughs> same spot, same place, Vince. 13 for Xavier Turner, Cardinal Steele. That's it, come down, attack. It's not there, then run your offense. Seven seconds difference, game clock and shot clock. Ten on the shot clock now. Turner wants it again. He's got to hurry up and put it up. Kiapwe, just in time, missed it. Only a few seconds left. Three from, or from, uh, oh, he got it, Hibbets. Wow. Big time three from Hibbets in the corner to end the first half. But a strong showing from the Ball State Cardinals in the first 20 minutes. Xavier Turner with 13 first half points to go along with five assists. The Cardinals have spread it around and have led by as many as 12. The lead at the half is seven at Worthen Arena in Muncie. The Ball State Cardinals at halftime lead Central Michigan 43-36. A couple of teams coming into this game with winning streaks. Ball State 
has won three in a row, and Central Michigan has won six straight. Welcome back to Worthen Arena with Jerry Pearson. I'm Vince Welch. Jerry, Ball State looked like the team maybe that uh, would carry an 11-1 and record instead of Central Michigan. The Chippewas come into this game leading the MAC in nine different statistical categories, but Ball State played better in the first half. I would have to agree with you, Vince, because uh, Ball State out-rebounded uh, Central easily 18-10. to 10. Haven't shot a free throw tonight, but that's going to be important, I think, going down the stretch. But the thing, the patience, I think, of Ball State is the best. I know that I, I've seen every game except the road games much better than I've seen all year, and that's a result of, of good passing, good awareness, and then they're getting the ball in the right shooter's hands. And of course, Xavier Turner put on a show the first half. Hey, shooting it well helps too, right? Oh, I mean, you got to make shots. And it the Cardinals have made 60% yeah. from the field in the first half, including 7 of 12 from three-point range. That'll make your offense look pretty good when you're knocking down 25-footers, as Xavier Turner did on three different occasions. Well, it, it does, Vince. And, and the, the main thing is that when they've gotten in trouble, they were able to get the ball out of trouble, move the basketball, and find those open guys for threes, good good shots down inside. The blue-collar guys have played up to par. They've really played tough and strong down inside. And, of course, they've kept uh, they've kind of kept Fowler under control a little bit. But, boy, those three-point shooters are central. You've got to watch them all the time. Yeah, Josh Kaczynski has three three-pointers to lead the way for Central Michigan with nine. Ball State has had seven players score in the first half, led by Xavier Turner, who has 13 points and five assists. Cardinals by seven at the break. Great way for the family to spend an afternoon on a cold winter day here at Worthen Arena in Muncie watching Ball State and Central Michigan. Sean Sellers, the outstanding freshman for the Cardinals, has five points in the first half. And a team from SportsLink spent some time with the outstanding freshman back in his home of Greensburg, Indiana. Nowhere in Indiana is basketball's presence felt more than the town of Greensburg. Definitely a small town, uh, the basic uh, small town Indiana feel. Um, basketball is the, the pride and joy of that town. Sean got introduced to basketball in second grade. He played at the local Y youth league and I, I coached him then with some of his friends that later on became teammates on the high school team. This was Christmas, got his first goal, and I think this was maybe our first dunk. This is my 1,000 point basketball. Uh, I think I got it my sometime my junior year. Right now we're about to go into the, uh, the uh, gym. Uh, this is where I played high school ball for four years. Uh, I think it, the gym seats a little over 5,000 people. We play Batesville in this sectional in the state tournament. They'd have people standing um, in front of those bleachers on the corners up there. People standing down here. It's probably a fire hazard, but it's Indiana high school basketball. When you look at the stories of other successful athletes, whatever sport that is, it's because they have that inner drive, they have a goal, and they're willing to pay that price uh, to get where they want to go. It's definitely, it's definitely not easy. Um, sometimes I would ask myself, you know, why am I doing this? You know, what's, is it worth it? But uh, I think it definitely is now. The thing I'll tell you as a person that I also really love about Sean is, make no mistake, he wants to be great. You know, he's not just, uh, he's not just a happy-go-lucky kid who's, who's really good, but he has a personal drive. It's important to him. Works really hard. He's completely invested. And uh, there's never been a great player that I've coached who hasn't had that piece. And then Sean does have that piece, and I think that gives him a potential to have a great career here. Out of the shadows, uh, produced by Ball State's SportsLink department, and uh, it's a fully immersive student-run production department, and they do some great work led by uh, Chris Taylor. Uh, Sean Sellers, as we saw in that piece, has, uh, as James Whitford said, could have a great career here, and I think there are a lot of people in Muncie expecting him to, and he certainly had an impact as a freshman. Has five points here this afternoon as Ball State has led by as many as 12, and the Cardinals currently on top of Central Michigan here at halftime, 43-36.
Second half action just ahead as we return to Worthen Arena in Muncie for Mid-American Conference West Showdown. Central Michigan off to its best start in more than 40 years at 11 and one this season, but they are in danger of losing here to Ball State, trailing by seven at halftime. Central shot 52% from the floor, Jerry, in the first half. Not too it. many times you shoot 52% on from the, the road. floor and you are behind at the half. Josh Kaczynski's had a hot hand. Well, he can spot up, he can hit two in a row for him and you got to keep a hand up all the time and know where he's at. They have a lot of guys just like him. Xavier Turner, same way. I mean, he's you know he's he's a guy you have to keep pressure on the entire way, Vince. Turner has 13 points and uh, five assists. Franco House with eight points and a couple of rebounds as well. We got a quick glimpse of those halftime statistics, and we'll take another look at them here in a moment. But I think the one thing that really jumps out at you, Jerry, is the Ball State shooting percentage, the Cardinals at 60% from the floor, seven of 12 from three-point range, the best half of basketball they've played all season. Yeah, without a doubt, Vince, that's the, that's the case. You don't see free throws on there, but uh, Ball State did not shoot any free throws. Uh, shot two free throws and missed them by um, Kamenicki. Uh, Kamenicki, that's right. That was the only two they shot. I think going down, if this game stays, stays close like this, free throws could be a big, big factor later in the game. Yeah, Central Michigan five of eight from the free throw line. Central gets to the free throw line quite a bit in fact, but at Toledo shot a season low eight free throws as well. So the Cardinals have done a pretty nice job of keeping them off the free throw line, albeit eight is more than Ball State's two that they have attempted. But uh, Cardinals have done a nice job on both ends of the floor so far. And of course, rebounding is always key. The Cardinals have out-rebounded Central Michigan 18 to 10. Central is one of the best rebounding teams in the MAC. Well, there's no doubt that uh, Ball State's going to have to play a similar, similar second half as they did the first, be on top in a lot of those statistics, and not let uh, not let Fowler control the pace of the game. Really like Ball State's pace. They've all run the floor, pushed it really hard. So it should be an interesting 20 minutes of basketball. We mentioned Turner with 13, House with eight. Jeremiah Davis also with eight points for Ball State here at the break. Sean Sellers with five, Bo Calhoun four, Rocco Belcaster hit a three-pointer, and Matt Kamenicki had a basket for two points. Central Michigan was led by Josh Kaczynski. We saw in the highlights there, he had three three-pointers in the first half. So Kaczynski leading the way with nine. Central Michigan does not have a player in double figures. Well, Ball State's going to have position in the basketball right out, right out of the shoot. So hopefully they can get a mark and uh, get it started positively. Cardinals with Xavier Turner. Sean Sellers, Francis Chiapwe, Matt Kemenicki, and Franco House to start the second half. House trap needs some help. Turner is there. Sellers opened the game with a three-pointer, but was short on that jump shot. Simmons shoots the three in transition. Simmons for three. Well, they just, all of them can shoot the basketball. You want to get a good start here. You missed the first shot, but get some production down on offense. And right there is another basket, this one from Fowler. So off the Ball State miscue. Quickly, it's a 5-0 run for Central Michigan. Well, you saw an aggressive Fowler go at it. I thought that Sean Sellers did not really, didn't really hustle as much as he should have to get after that loose ball. And Fowler was able to get a hand and then make a reverse pivot and get an easy layup. So uh, tough start here for Ball State right now. Hey, for the big job or the do-it-yourself home improvement, a rental service company in Muncie can help with tool rental for any size job. Steel chainsaws, trimmers, blowers, sales and service, all at a rental service company. Well, a 5-0 run for Central Michigan as Simmons hit a three-pointer and then Fowler got the easy basket. Why, Jerry, why is the start to the second half so critical? The start for the second half, Vince, is critical because it just sets the tone for the very for the rest of the game. 
So Central now has gained momentum after hitting that three at the end of the first half. They've regained momentum right back in the game and puts a lot of pressure on Ball State's offense right now. So you, you want to get a, a real good start offensively, like hit your first, first shot or two. Uh, no real problem right now, but, uh, you know, again, Ball State's right now behind the eight ball, so to speak, and they're going to have to pick up their defense and get something positive down here offensively, or you got a team like Central on the road going to go back and take the lead. James Whitford has talked about one of the areas of concern and something he believes his Ball State team must do if they're to be successful this season is they got to keep their heads up when things go wrong. They got to manage those situations just as we have seen here to open the second half. Right, and uh, they did a good job when th things went a little against them in the first half. They answered right back. They have to do it right now. They are one of the youngest teams in the country, Vince, no doubt about that. But you have to, again, show some leadership. You got a guy like uh, Jeremiah Davis, uh, in there now who's who's going to uh, provide that kind of uh, experienced leadership. So let's see what happens here. Grayson, Simmons, Meyer, Simons, and Fowler on the court for Central Michigan. Ball State has Turner, Davis, Kamenicki, House, and Sellers. That's Jeremiah Davis with the ball now. And now Xavier Turner, Kamenicki on the block. Oh boy, double up and another turnover. A little more pep in the step of the Central Michigan squad here to start the second half. Simmons drives it and finishes. A 7-0 run for Central Michigan. Cardinals miss and the Chippewas come again. Grayson on the dribble. And he got away with a walk. Simons. And now Simmons as the Cardinals stay in that man to man. Shot clock at 10. Fowler loses the handle. And now Turner, it's a two on three. Sellers rises and is fouled. He'll shoot three. Yeah, silly foul by Simmons. Central foul, number four. Rayshon Simmons with his first. Well, too much foul, yep. trying to be done by Fowler, and then the, the Cardinals the quickly get it down, find the open shooter, and as you said, probably Simmons not a foul that Simmons great. wished he'd had committed. Well, exactly. He went up and made contact, but uh, very poor ball handling, too, by Chris uh, Fowler down here at the other end. You don't see a player like him get in traffic like that and turn it over. Sellers outstanding free throw shooter at just about 88%. Well, he's uh, just as good if not better shooter than uh, than Kaczynski or Hibbets or any of the other shooters that uh, Central has without a doubt. Got to get a couple stops here, get their, get their momentum back. Early stages, second half as Rayson misses, and here comes Jeremiah Davis. Davis spins in, can't get it. Meyer, the 6'11 freshman, rebounds it. Central Michigan gets into their offense so quickly, and there's a foul going to be called on Kamenicki. Boy, that would, I, don't know, I think some. I think sometimes you got to let them play a little bit, Vince. I thought that was a really what we call a T-shirt foul, and you know, no hands were involved, just a little bit of a bump, and didn't destroy anything, any momentum or anything by the offensive player. Simmons mishandled it, but saved it. This is a fresh 35 for Central Michigan. Ball State led by as many as 12 in the first half. Central came out to score the first seven to open up the second half. Simmons drives it again, second time. He's done that here in the second half. Well, he just took, took Seller. Sean came out of his stance somewhat. And uh, able to get a little bit of a half a step on him to, to get the basket. Ball's coming in. 
Oh, just taken away. Simmons really being a factor here in the second half. He's got three baskets and a key steal right there off Sellers. Simmons is now fouled by Franco House, and there's another one of those ticky-tack fouls. There was very little contact there. And that's three on House. Yeah, here comes uh, Bo Calhoun in for him. No question there was some contact, but as you say, Jerry, whether it impedes the progress of the ball handler, and there was a little more acting than there was contact on that sequence. It's a yeah. one-point game. Yeah, there isn't any question that uh, Coach uh, Davis got his point across at halftime. They've come in with a unbelievable uh, amount of uh, energy right now. That's Luke Meyer, the freshman from Addison, Michigan. Yeah, great uh, left-handed layup and excellent pass. It's an 11-3 run to open the second half for Central Michigan. Ball State still doesn't have a basket. All three of their points came at the free throw line. And for the second time, Kamenicki's had it stolen down there on the block. And Davis answers. Turner to the basket. Kind of went behind his back and faked it. Got around the guy, did a good job. Excellent uh, stutter dribble there by uh, Xavier. Turner has 15. Simmons might have been partially blocked. Good defense by the Cardinals. Davis off the glass. No. Boy, had it right there. And there's a whistle and a foul against Ball State. Well, a little fast and furious here, Vince, for a couple minutes. Uh, <laughs> Keeping the fans into the game for sure. Central scored 11 of the first 14, but Xavier Turner helped answer for the Cardinals. He has 15 today. What a great basketball game here at Worthen Arena in Muncie today. Ball State and Central Michigan, each with winning streaks, both coming off big road wins to open Mac play, and they're really going at it here this afternoon. Well, there isn't any doubt about that, Vince. Just great inside play. Each uh, team showing their strengths and uh, look like it's going to go right down to the wire this particular way. Just uh, whoever is going to have the basketball and who can make a big play or make, make a big basket at the end or a free throw. Rayshon Simmons, yeah, with nine points, four rebounds, three assists, done a little bit of everything yep. today as Central Michigan fans have seen all season long. He's been a terrific player, the junior out of St. Louis. Has the basketball now. Central can take the lead with a basket here. They have led here in the second half at 47-46, and then Xavier Turner answered with a steal and a basket. But it was a long time in between leads for Central Michigan as Ball State took care of business most of the first half. Fowler three-pointer is short. Turner hustles for it, last touched by Ball State. Well, you make the call. Oh, boy. That happened right in front of us, Jerry, and live or on the replay, I still can't tell. <laughs> I really couldn't either. Those officials got a tough job. We get the replay, and it was still hard to decipher. Simmons again. Got it. Wow, Rayshon Simmons coming alive. He's got a dozen. Boy, what a confident player that was. What a great shot that was. Central Michigan really getting the offense going here in the second half. Cardinals need to respond. Davis open. Belcaster, he'll shoot it. Second three-pointer of the day for Rocco Belcaster. Yeah, gave, uh, gave Simmons and uh, Hibbets a little bit of their own medicine. Big basket for Belcaster. 
He was a walk-on, but it was an awarded, it was awarded a scholarship here this second semester. So he's celebrating in fashion with a couple of three-pointers today. Oh. Turner had it knocked away. Yeah, he gets it, get it in traffic there. You really gotta. Fowler is fouled by Calhoun. Count it. Yeah, you can see what kind of point guard leader that uh, Cal that Fowler is there. It's a great, great drive to the basket with excellent body control in traffic. Here he comes right at us. There's the foul. So he got it up high on the bank board and got the roll. Fowler just under 69% from the free throw line. Ball State got to get uh, got to get some fouls on Central Michigan a little bit. Four to one on fouls right now, and you don't want to put Central in the bonus too early. Belcaster looked at it. He's got a couple of them already today. Davis will take it. Well, I really like what we've seen from Luke Meyer oh, here today, me too, the 6'11 freshman. Pulled that rebound and now shoots the three. Yep, good looking player. House is fouled. Bumped from behind. Going to go against Kaczynski. Good little bounce pass there by Davis. It looked like Kaczynski meant to, but their feet got tangled up. Yep. House goes to the floor, and it's the second foul on Kaczynski. Fowler out of the game, and Stewart has come in. Well, Simmons really getting out to guard Sellers. It's a good matchup. House drops the shoulder and then converts. Excellent job by House. Looked like a little flop there by the defender. House Good has no call. eight and Ball State leads by one. Yep. And there's a foul on Kamenicki. Boy, Rayshon Simmons has really gotten aggressive here in the second half. He is. He has come alive. He had two points at the break. He has 11 now. Nine points in the second half. Yes, sir. He's a good, very, very fine-looking player. There he is on the dribble again. Three on the way from Simons. Missed it. Kamenicki grabs the rebound, and that foul is going against Central. Austin Stewart called for the foul. That's the first foul on Stewart. It's a tight one here in Muncie, Ball State, and Central Michigan. Ball State football coach Pete Limbo checking out the Cardinals basketball efforts here today. Ball State leads by one. Rocco Belcaster has done a nice job. Just received a scholarship, and he's knocked down a couple of three-pointers to celebrate today. Well, he has, and he's played well. He's getting a lot of playing time, done a nice job. Excellent spot-up shooter. Better defender than uh, than you might think as well. So he's, he's spelled the starters quite well this season so far. Works hard in the weight room, has put on some strength, and has gotten better as a product of that additional strength, a little bit more weight. And he can shoot it. Cardinals with the basketball. About 11 and a half to play here in the first, in the second half as Sellers misses the three-pointer. Kept alive, and Kamenicki's got it. Second chance opportunity for Ball State. Cardinals really did a nice job on the boards in the first half. House fouled, and he'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, great pass by Kiapwe to keep that alive, but you have to give, you have to give Matt Kamenicki a lot of credit going after that missed shot. There's the bounce pass, a little pick and roll. Franco did a good job of drawing the foul on Meyer. Got to make these free throws. These are really going to be big. House, a good free throw shooter, 74%. Stewart's out. Fowler is back in for Central Michigan. 
House having a good game, five of seven from the floor. Nine points. Stepped on the line, turnover Central Michigan. Yeah, that's another uncharacteristic turnover by Chris Fowler. Trying to force a play just a little too much. Sellers hounded by Simmons. Nice bounce from Kiapwe to Kamenicki. Great job by Kamenicki. Not sure it wasn't a foul either on Meyer, but uh, another good effort there by Matt. Second basket for Kamenicki today. Cardinals back on top by four, and it's another central turnover. Central substitution. 32. Uh, great, great uh, little play there by Central Michigan and. Uh, Kaczynski just took his eyes off the Simmons just took his eyes off the ball and, and the ball went out right through his hands. Both well, teams yeah, playing well today, Vince. Taking care of the basketball under double figures. House takes it in, can't get it down. Boy, had, had, had the right shot. Had a good look at it. Simmons, Meyer, Hibbets, Rayson, and Fowler on the floor for Central Michigan. Ball State has Kemenicki and House along with Sellers, Kiapwe, and Turner. Long three from Rayson off the mark. Battle for it underneath. Cardinals got it. Ball State led by 12 in the first half. But it has been tight here in the second half after an early run by Central Michigan to open the second 20. Boy, Kiapwe had a good, good look at it. Simmons trying to beat Sellers and he walked. Central trying to force a play one on one a little bit right now, Vince, rather than passing the basketball. I think each, a couple guys have tried to force the play, which has hurt their uh, hurt their flow a little bit right now. Number 12, Bo Calhoun for the Cardinals. Bo Calhoun's going to come into the ball game. Franco House goes out. House has done a nice job today, 11 points. Sure has, great job. Had to really battle underneath all the Ball State big men have Kamenicki, Calhoun, House. They are undersized compared to Central Michigan, and it's been tough inside. Calhoun needs some help. Kamenicki, great hustle. Finds Kiapwe. Oh, my goodness. Sellers knocked out of the way, and Turner throws up three. Got it. How about Xavier Turner today, huh? Give an assist to Matt Kamenicki on that play, Vince. Give a big-time assist to Matt Kamenicki. Turner is lighting it up from three-point range. Xavier Turner, and they haven't been just your normal threes. <laughs> they have been long-range three-pointers. And they've been big for the Cardinals today. Don't know what happened right there. Somebody got knocked down pretty good, but there's the pass. He's feeling he's hitting nothing but net too, Vince. Those aren't rattling in. Hey, for the big job or the do-it-yourself home improvement, remember A Rental Service Company in Muncie. They can help with tool rental for any size job. Steel chainsaws, trimmers, blowers, sales and service. Find it all at A Rental Service Company. Matt Kamenicki with nine rebounds and a great effort to keep that sequence alive. Ultimately, Xavier Turner knocked down the three-pointer. <laughs> Five. 
foul against Jeremiah Davis. He can't believe it. Well, again, they got uh, got isolated on there, but uh, Grayson was again out of control on that drive. But uh, Davis uh, was a culprit on the on the grab. Grayson snuggles in the first. Belcaster in for Kamenicki. Great defense from Calhoun to reject that race and put back, and there's a foul called on Central. A terrific defensive effort there from Calhoun. Yep. Good loose ball uh, aggressiveness there by the Ball State defense. First on Scott, five team fouls now on the Chippewas. Scott picks up the personal. Fifth team foul against Central Michigan here in the second half. Turner, Davis, Belcaster, Calhoun, and Sellers. And now we've got another foul on Central Michigan, and Deron Scott's going to get another one. So Scott and Bo Calhoun keep getting tangled up, and Scott's going to come out of the game. That didn't last long. Tell you what, though, Deron Scott's a good-looking freshman. 6'8", 230 pounds. Good-looking freshman. He'll be watching it from the bench. Approaching the eight minute mark. Davis, shot fake, can't get Simons to bite. Grayson and Turner, that's a good matchup out there on the point. A little shake and bake from Turner, pulls back, short off the jumper, but Calhoun has got it and he'll go to the line. Well done. Boy, did Bo position well down inside. Timeout on the floor. 7.42 to play in the game. Ball State trying to win its fourth straight. Leads Central Michigan. Behind 18 from Xavier Turner, Ball State leads Central Michigan by six with 7.42 to play in the game. Hey, tune in Wednesday night. The Ball State Sports Network has Ball State and Western Michigan for you from Kalamazoo. 7 o'clock Eastern. The Cardinals and the Broncos from University Arena in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Jerry Pearson and I will be there for that one. Looking forward to it. Always enjoy that trip up to Western. Boy, how about the horrible accident on I-94 in Michigan? Uh, over 100 cars involved in that yesterday. A fatality and... and several injuries and uh, fortunate that it wasn't worse but uh, thinking of all our friends up in uh, oh, Michigan yeah. that might have been involved in that or had loved ones involved over a hundred cars wow. involved in a pileup on I-94. <laughs> Bo Calhoun knocks down both free throws and the Cardinals lead by eight. Real good time in the game now just got to keep getting stops here. Got to know where Kaczynski is. Meyer is there in the lane and he's fouled. Well, really impressed with this freshman. I know we've mentioned it already, Jerry, but uh, Luke Meyer, 6'11, 220, but good hands, good footwork. Watch him catch this ball. It's not an easy catch. I know it was right to him, but hey, when you're 6'11, 220 at point blank, that's always not an easy one to grab. Exactly. And boy, he just got a wonderful build on his body. Just a terrific, uh, good-looking young man. I don't, I'm not sure how they got this guy. <laughs> I mean, he's one of those guys that the big-timers, the Big Ten would be looking at, I would think. Franco House has to go out of the game because he has four fouls. Meyer hits one of two. Davis will walk it up. We've seen Jeremiah Davis play a fair share of point guard today, and then Xavier Turner play the off guard spot. As you see, Turner fouled 
by Chris Fowler. That's, that's three three on Fowler. I think they're trying to put their best their best athlete on uh, on Turner so he doesn't uh, get another run going. Turner 76 percent from the strike. Nineteen for Turner today. And we talked about how big free throws were going to be towards the end of this game. Both teams in the bonus right now. Simmons guarded by Davis and now Fowler. Shot clock under 10 as Simmons wants to put it on the floor. Fowler's going to have to shoot the long one. Missed it. Good defense by Jeremiah Davis. Excellent. Good hand up. James Whitford talked about having to guard the full 35 against this team, and the Cardinals have done a nice job for the most part today doing that. Yes, they have. Davis to the basket, uses the left. Oh, my gosh, what a great play. That's a big-time play right there, Vince. That's a, that's a University of Cincinnati play. Transfer from UC, and answering is Simons. Simons for three. Well, you just got to know where all their players are all the time, especially these forwards. They're not the most talented, most athletic guys, but boy, they can stand and shoot it. That 10 point lead went away quickly as Simons knocked down that three pointer. Cardinals being patient offensively. Nice pass from Davis. Oh, yeah. Kamenick, he answers. Great. Get back on D. That's going the other way. Offensive foul. Way to go, Xavier Turner. And that'll be four on Fowler. Here you see it. Give it to 15, Chris Fowler. Boy, great job. The hesitation on the officials. I thought they were going to maybe call it the other way, but it was an obvious charge. Great, great play by Xavier Turner. Keno Davis has one of his best players in foul trouble. That's Fowler with four. James Whitford has one of his best players in foul trouble. Franco House with four. So the coach is going to be playing a little chess here in the final 534. These little plays like you saw Xavier Turner just make, Vince, are what it's what makes a difference in winning close basketball games against a very, very solid basketball team. And uh, Ball State did not make those earlier in the year. And uh, they obviously made them in Eastern Michigan the other night. And so tonight, they're doing the same thing, both offensively and defensively, and coming up with loose balls and coming up with big time, aggressive type plays. Hey, stay up to date on what's happening with the Cardinal basketball program with the James Whitford Show here on the Ball State Sports Network. Coach Whitford, host Joel Godet, give you insight into Cardinal basketball every week. Highlights, statistics, game analysis. The James Whitford Show. Check local listings for showtimes in your area. Hey, fans, check out hey, the decent video turnout video today for the uh, Ball State Central Michigan game. The home attendance for Ball State has been a little bit shy over the early part of the season, but here in the uh, home opener, if you will, in the Mid-American Conference. The crowd has come out, the fans, the students are back in school, so a lot of energy in the building today. Vince, there's a, there's a lot of interest in this Ball State basketball team, and if they if they can pull this game out, win a big game like this, it's gonna bring even more people out the next home game. They're, they're, just, they're just hungry for a good, good, solid basketball team that's fun to watch. And boy, if you, if you can't enjoy this game today, there's something wrong with you. Always good to see the students oh boy. come out as well. Yep. First game since they've been back in session. Under five and a half to play in the game. Ball State by nine. Central Michigan has a six game winning streak and an 11 and one record, but that's all in danger here at Worthen Arena. And there's a foul going against the Cardinals. 
Bo Calhoun, a little too aggressive on the screen. Yeah, he did. You can see it. Took his hands and kind of pushed him down. Puts a little pressure on the Ball State defense now. Didn't get a score down there, so you want to be uh, real aggressive here. Fowler on the floor despite four fouls. Handling the basketball. He's been terrific today. Shot clock under 10. Got to make it happen quickly. Fowler in trouble, needs help. Long three off the mark. That'll be a shot clock violation as Kaczynski did not draw iron. Terrific defensive possession by the Cardinals. Sure was. You can tell where, that's where the scouting report pays off right there. Calhoun is out. Franco House back for the Cardinals. Remember House playing with those four fouls. Big possession right here. Kiapwe. Sellers, both freshmen, and there's Simmons called for the foul. Well, how about that? Ball State with two freshmen, two sophomores, and a senior. There's another player, first year in the program, Jeremiah Davis coming in. Seven newcomers to the Ball State program this year, and as Jerry mentioned earlier, one of the youngest teams in the country. A lot of good things yet to come for this Ball State program. Yes, they're going to take their lumps this year, but uh, James Whitford has got them moving in the right direction here in his second there, season. Yeah, there isn't any doubt about it. You can see him getting better. And, I, you know, again, I want to give uh, a lot of credit, Vince, to Jeremiah Davis because he stepped in in a tough situation. He's providing some very, very important leadership to this young basketball team. He's a veteran. He knows how to play. He's been at the big time. And, boy, I'm really, really, really happy with the, what he's doing with the team. He transferred from Cincinnati, and he came in and immediately with his work ethic and his performance and his dedication and attitude became one of the top leaders, if not the top leader on this team. Overwhelming choice for captaincy. Well, they're doing a good job of keeping uh, Central out of the lane, able to get to the basket. Putting pressure on their outside shot. Rayson rises on Turner, missed it, Kamenicki. Good block out by Ball State. Take your time, don't have to hurry now. 10th rebound for Kamenicki today. Sellers off the dribble, takes it, draws a lot of contacts, oh, yes. but Calhoun puts it in. And a timeout, Central Michigan. Oh, well, Calhoun right there where he needed to be, a blue collar player again, comes up with a great putback. See an excellent shot fake by Sean Simmons there. Like Sellers might have been fouled, but Calhoun was alert and ready to put it in. That he was. And he has done a nice job today working the glass. He's hit a couple of free throws here in the second half. Bo Calhoun, not the most athletic guy on the floor, but he is a dedicated winner. He wants to win and he wants to do whatever it takes to get it done for the team. He might be right now one of the, one of the maybe the most improved player from last year to right now of what we've seen. Cardinals by 13. Largest lead of the game, 320 to play. And there's a foul and Fowler was fouled out on the floor. We're going to get the media timeout. Sellers Called for that foul. No, check that. Jeremiah Davis called for it. Jeremiah Davis picking up the personal, and that'll be his fourth foul. So a couple of All-State players in foul trouble, but they lead by 13 with 322 to play. Yeah, this score is going to raise some eyebrows around the Mid-American Conference. Central Michigan after that big win at Toledo on Tuesday, opening up 
the conference schedule with a win on the road and bumping their record to 11 and one coming in here. I think a lot of people thought Central was going to be the team to beat today and Ball State has really been impressive in taking it right at the Chippewas. Well, it's really important you finish the game right here. These last uh, next couple minutes are going to be really crucial. You got to block out. Missed free throw, but big rebound there by Franco. Ball State on a 9-3 to three run. Kamenicki draws some contact and finishes. Another great pass by Jeremiah Davis. And a whistle and a foul against the Cardinals. Sellers called for this one. Well, how about Kamenicki? Threatening a double-double. Eight points and ten rebounds. Yep, he's made free throw, made his layups today, Vince. He's had trouble doing that during the year. Well, Simmons misses. So Central helping the Cardinals yes, out here are. with uh, missing a couple of free throws. Can't be turned, can't turn it over now on the press. Got to be, got to be good on the press. Sellers by himself gives it to Davis. Yeah, good job because Fowler's not going to pick up his fifth. He wasn't going to risk a foul. Fowler drives strong and there's contact and a foul. He'll shoot two. You know, Vince, it's not a bad, it's not a bad thing. What's happening is that Ball State is uh, they're snuck they're snugging up on the shooters outside, and, and so Fowler's got a one-on-one -on -one by himself. So no, not going to get any help, but putting him on the foul line might not be all bad. At least they're not making threes. He'll get another. Still a 14 point lead for the Cardinals. Here's that full court pressure. We've seen some token pressure from Central, but this was full out right here. Okay, House. pick it up, pick it up. Nice job bringing it up the floor. Not a roll that Franco House often has to carry out. Two and a half minutes to play in the game. Sellers has it taken away, and then it's going to be, that's oh, pitch that's foul. a foul on Fowler. I thought maybe they were going to get Sellers, but nope, Fowler is going to pick up number five. And Keno Davis is not happy. He thinks Sellers used the old wraparound to keep Fowler away from the ball. Take a look. No uh, way. That's a tough one. That's a tough way to pick up number five there. Right Jerry, there. back in your coaching day, you'd have been arguing and stomping your foot on that one. I would have. The coat would have come <laughs> off. I'd have probably gotten a T. <laughs> Keno, Keno. Number 12, oh, my gosh. Yeah, I guess that's a different perspective. Whichever side you're on, fortunately for Ball State, it worked out. Well, Fowler but leaves. I don't blame him for being unhappy. Yeah. Fowler leaves with 13 fouling out. Keno Davis. You recall his father, Dr. Tom Davis, oh, yeah. head Good. coach for a long, long time at various stops, including at Iowa, where he was manning the bench from 1986 through 99. So many good teams yep. for the Hawkeyes back then. Very fine coach. One of two from Sellers. Racing rejected. Franco House. Oh, Davis is going to get a technical. Keno Davis really working the sideline now. He is unhappy. He thinks there was a foul, should have been called, and there was not. It was assistance better grab him. He's going to get a tee. Central Michigan in a tight spot now. They've got to score quickly, maybe even start looking at the three. And there it is, Kaczynski. 
misses. Davis rebounds. Ball State with a 15-point lead and two minutes to play at Worthen Arena. Just run your offense. Get possession. Don't try to force it. Good patience here by the Cardinals. Davis splits the defenders, passes Kamenicki. He'll go to the line. Boy, what a great pass by Jeremiah Davis. Big time pass on the pick and roll. Woo. Well, being able to take the defender or two to the basket, something Ball State's been missing until Jeremiah Davis came on, on the scene. Right. Yeah, they have. Well, Matt, make these. Kamenicki, not a good free throw shooter, but that one was pure. A double-double for Kamenicki today. Simmons walked, but they're going to call the foul first. See if he walked. One, I'd say so. Made the contact right prior to that. I don't know what do you think, Vince. Yeah. Alice, don't fish it now. After, 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 after the way Keno off. Davis was chewing the officials a little bit earlier, I'm not surprised that's a foul, right? Yeah, that's true. Sellers back in. Kiapwe is out. I'll tell you what, Jerry, it's a lot easier sitting over here second guessing the guys in stripes, and it is out there wearing the whistles. Oh, yeah. I'll give him that for sure. Simmons makes both. Easy, Sean. Got a handle of pressure. Stolen away. Uh, Kaczynski three. It's short. Davis can't get a hand on it. Who's going to squeeze it? Boy, Franco big contact. Howe. Franco House and Kaczynski going on the floor for it. The possession arrow will give the basketball to Central Michigan. 32 minutes for Central Michigan. Boy, I, don't, I don't particularly like <laughs> Vince Sean Sellers catching it in the corner. Oh. And Sellers is going to come out. Kiapwe is going to come in. He's just not comfortable doing that. That's not, not the place that he uh, is very comfortable at all. Just guard the threes. Simmons lets it fly short. short. Saved inbounds, but it hit the end line. Simons tried to save it. Cardinals will have it with a minute 17 left. So ball stayed against this full court pressure with Kiapwe, Turner, Davis, Kamenicki, and Franco House. And Turner is fouled. And if somebody's going to be going to the free throw line, Ball State fans want that young man yes, going sir. there. But what a great, Vince, he's had a terrific floor game today. Unbelievable floor game. Coach uh, talking to uh, Sean. Sean's not very happy with himself turning that last pass over, or last uh, turnover. Been a huge day for Xavier Turner. Matches his season high of 20 points. At 20 at Eastern Illinois earlier this season. Last year's Mid-American Conference Freshman of the Year. Three from the left side, Braylon Rayson. Cardinals will be fouled again. Oh, Turner really got hammered there, but no whistle. Kamenicki almost had the deuce, but a great block. Coming off from the weak side by Hibbets, and the Cardinals steal it. Davis! Vince, I think we can talk about this being a victory now, don't you? I feel confident now. This will bring some fans back. This has been a fun game today. Teams trading turnovers, but the Cardinals 
maybe issue the dagger as Jeremiah Davis makes it a 16-point game with 50 seconds to play. 14 for Davis today. Well, what a terrific effort from the Cardinals in all facets. You know, uh, James Whitford said that win at Eastern Michigan on Wednesday was the best win since he's been here as the head coach, but he's going to have to correct that oh, because yeah. the Cardinals have been even better here today in so many ways. Hey, Eastern or uh, Central Michigan, a team that scores 86 points per game, they've got 65 today. I know it, unbelievable. I mean, it, you just got to, you, you can pinpoint a lot of different uh, strengths that Ball State has put out there today. They needed every one of them to get this win. They've done it. Boy, two and oh and seven and six, man, two big wins. But you know what, Vince? We're going to have another good one on Wednesday night. We all know that uh, how tough that is always to go to Kalamazoo. Not an easy place to play. They get a decent team again this year too, and it's always tough up there. So it'll be fun to call that one. Not, not any better than today though. Kaczynski racing. Hibbets, Simons, and Simmons for Central. Three-pointer off the mark by Rayson, and it's rebounded by Franco House. Davis needs help. Baseball pass to Franco House. 30 seconds to play. They're not going to foul. House drives it in. 83 to 18 point lead. Well, Central, Central just lost it all. They're not going to foul. It's over, Vince. It's over. What a great win. The Ball State Cardinals will end Central Michigan's six game winning streak. Ball State has now won four in a row. And the fans are on their feet in Muncie. James Whitford's Cardinals with an 83-65 win over Central Michigan. The Cardinals are 2-0 in the Mid-American Conference after an impressive road win at Eastern Michigan. And then the home opener in the conference, a victory by 18 points over Central Michigan. Boy, and it was an all-around effort today. It sure was. The James Whitford, I think, is going to address the crowd out here, Vince, right here, right out here in front of us. A lot so, to celebrate today as the yeah. Ball State Cardinals move their record to 7-6, and 2-0 and in the Mid-American Conference. Xavier Turner led the way for the Cardinals today with 21. And for Jerry Pearson, I'm Vince Welch, 83-65, Ball State over Central Michigan on the Ball State Sports Network. <laughs>